Hello everybody. In this short video, I'm going to show you how we can control or manipulate the value of a of an integer variable in the card. This is using spin control element of the visualization. So we assume that we have an integer variable called counter PV, preset value of the counter, and I want to have the option to um, to be able to manipulate the value through the visualization. So we can insert the spin control element in the visualization. You can find it in the yeah here in the common controls tab for the visualization. Uh, then in the properties of this element we will be able to assign the variable the variable the integer variable which we want to change the value. It's here the the counter PV integer variable that I have. Uh, there is an option of determining the range of the values for, for this element. If you leave it blank, then it will not be limited. But if you limit, if you provide values for the minimum value and maximum value, you cannot change the value of the variable beyond those limits using this element, of course. So for now, let's uh, leave them like, or let's uh, assign a value for the minimum. I will keep it as zero, and I don't put any limitation of the uh, maximum value. Uh, now we can save the project and at the same time we can have uh, in the text properties you, you can de determine different variables for the uh, for this element as well uh, okay so for, for now let's keep it like this let's log in with download And then I will uh, run the code, show you how the value of the variable can be controlled using this, this element. All right, it takes a while in my system. OK, now we are ready to run the program. So here you see the value for the variable, the counter PV variable. Uh, initially, it has value of 0. Now we can increase the value by using this element. It can be increased one by one. You cannot uh, uh, do more changes, let's say. The steps are only one. So we can go up to whatever value that you wish. But the minimum value that we, we may impose by this control element is only 0, which makes sense for this kind of variable if we are going to use, uh, use it as the counter preset value. However, if you have some uh, a value which is lower than the minimum value. For example, if we, we may have minus 9 as the first value for the variable, then here we can see that it's not displayed in this element. And and you cannot manipulate the variable anymore with this with this element which is uh, which makes sense. Yeah? If we put a value which is within the range, like 5, then pressing F7 and Alt F7, the value will appear in the element as well, and afterwards we can manipulate the, the variable with this element as well. All right, that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy this video as well, and thanks again for watching.